I'm now pleased to welcome our EGD committee member and the senior director of the Strategy for the Lemelson Foundation, Mr. Rob Schneider. Rob will introduce the Lemelson Foundation's Engineering for One Planet, a new collaborative initiative to mobilize changes in engineering education that would equip all future engineers with the skills and knowledge to minimize negative impacts on our resource constrained planet. Rob, we welcome you to our virtual stage. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. I want to thank ASME for inviting me to participate in today's event. For the last 15 years, I've been working in international development, but before that, my education and first job was as a manufacturing engineer. So I've actually been a member of ASME since the mid 90s, and I'm really thrilled to be able to work even more closely with the engineering community these days by working with Yana on the Engineering for Global Development Advisory Committee. For those unfamiliar with the Lemelson Foundation, we believe in improving lives through invention. We were founded about 25 years ago by Jerome and Dorothy Lemelson. Jerry was an engineer by training and was also one of the most prolific independent inventors of the 20th century with over 600 patents. He started the foundation in order to inspire and educate the next generation of inventors. I joined the Lemelson Foundation about two years ago and I'm excited today to introduce to you an initiative we launched earlier this year, which we are calling Engineering for One Planet. I don't have to tell you all the kinds of impact that engineers have on society and on our planet. Engineers can have a tremendously positive influence on all of our lives. Just think of the conveniences of modern society that have been invented and engineered for all of us to use. Cell phone, right? wireless mouse, these are great but solving the problems of today can also be a source of problems for tomorrow. I think about the amazing advances we have had in energy and industrial processes, but we're now aware that they're also sources of greenhouse gases. Think of the amazing advancement in materials that have also led to materials that don't break down in nature or are now very difficult to recycle. So we know now that all engineers need to work within the constraints that our planet allows, but not all engineers are equipped with the knowledge and understanding of the core principles of environmental sustainability. While there are many classes that engineers can take to learn about the environmental sustainability, these classes are not a widely required component of all engineering curriculum. And we are trying to change that. So in partnership with VentureWell, the Lemelson Foundation has created the Engineering for One Planet Initiative. Our goal is to ensure all engineering professionals are equipped with the fundamental competencies, skills, and knowledge of environmentally responsible engineering by transforming engineering education here in the United States. We are working with more than 100 experts in academia and industry, and we have published a framework with core learning outcomes in environmental sustainability. This is a resource to help change engineering curricula, and it is available for free on our website. We've also funded pilot grants to test the framework at five universities over the next two years. We intend to share what we learn and the teaching tools that they develop so that other faculty and institutions can also adopt these curricular changes at their engineering schools. We also hope to bring people together to form a network for change starting in 2021. We will support the launch of this network, but it's not going to be our network. It's going to include stakeholders from inside and outside of academia, will be supported by multiple organizations and partners, and will reflect what the network itself wants to become. So today I'm asking you to join us on this mission. Engineering for One Planet is open to everyone. You can start by signing up for updates, email info at engineeringforoneplanet.org, and you can ask to receive updates. You'll be added to our listserv. You'll get the new version of the framework when it's launched in a few weeks. And you'll also be notified when we launch our new website, which will have all sorts of free, free resources on it available for you to use. So thank you again to ASME for giving me the opportunity to introduce you to Engineering for One Planet. And I look forward to seeing what we can build together. Thank you so much, Rob, for introducing us to the Engineering for One Planet initiative. It's an essential effort in addressing the global crisis of climate change with a prepared technical workforce. 